Ready boogie here? Hello everybody and welcome back to the good old Pillwood vlog. Uh, today we are coming to you from Miami, Florida and we are checking out some more drag lines. Behind me is a Marion 8200. She is said to be the biggest drag line in aggregate potentially in the world. I don't totally know, but she's a, she's a monster. The machine's not moving today because it's undergoing some maintenance. So there was a, a gear that was missing some teeth. So they're changing that out. They're also changing out the bucket. So this is the new bucket. They just swapped it out. It's a process to get new bucket onto a drag line. You got to bring in a crew. There's welding, cutting, fitting of massive cables, so on and so forth. Since Florida is full of freaking water, uh, you, you can't pump it out and dig a traditional quarry. Instead, you basically just have to mine underwater. So the method of choice typically for the big aggregate mines down here is uh, using drag lines. It'll take the material from underwater, it'll flop it up top onto the surface, like that pile right there. The water will drain out over weeks and weeks, and then loaders, they'll mine with 992s and 988s here, will come in and load haul trucks from those piles that are obviously above ground. Drag lines, they have these power cables that go from, I don't know where the power cable connects to here, some substation, into literally the back of the machine that drives the entire machine. This is the power cable, trailing cable. Uh, it's, I don't know, maybe the diameter of a soda can so it's not enormous but it's a significant size extension cord and then they'll have a little tractor that'll move the cable around for the drag line so the cable is not in the way of any anything at all it's some nice equipment here all right so we are at the second site this is a new cut that they just opened up this has been in the process of development for less than a year. To open up a new cut, the cap rock is five feet below the water table. And on top of that is a bunch of muck and then trees. So they have to come in here. They have to clear out all of the trees. They have to dig out all the muck. And since it's underwater, they basically have to use dozers to, he called it squeegee it into certain areas to remove it entirely. And then they come in here and they put over a million tons of base rock back in here from the other parts of the mine to build all of this up. Everything we're standing on, everything here has been built up. Uh, we just wrapped up in Palm Beach, Florida. Looking at drag line right now, we just saw a freaking rope shovel loading into a mobile crusher, loading into a floating conveyor. One of the most unique aggregate mining things I've ever seen before. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so we're gonna wrap up here. And then we're gonna head north to Melbourne to see our friends at Earthview before ending up at Orlando. <laughs> 